And David, still tonight, thousands of Mainers are without power, uh, but, but in terms of the weather side of things, it looks like the storm's moving out of here and should be yes. gone by morning. Yes, thankfully, that's the good news. Uh, we saw some damaging winds out there, lots of trees down and some power outages. So it's been a pretty uh, formidable storm for this evening. And, you know, ending November this way, and actually tomorrow's actually the first day of meteorological winter. So, I mean, we start to talk about wintertime temperatures and we've had seen those uh, earlier this month. It's kind of a topsy-turvy month, right? Started off warm, now it got cold, and now it's warm again. But anyway, winds tonight, Bar Harbor, 60 miles per hour at the airport, Eastport, 57 miles per hour, so you're pushing 60 there. Bangor, 49, Augusta, hitting 45 mile per hour wind gusts, and even here in Portland, we're at 40 miles per hour. So we did see some strong winds, lots of power outages, like Zach just told us, and we are seeing some cooler temperatures moving into the area right now. We're in the 30s, Greenville, Rangeley, all the way to over Berlin. We're in the 50s earlier, so we're watching those temperatures slowly dropping overnight and it will get colder overnight. So some of that uh, rain that fell, it may uh, refreeze on the roadways late tonight into early tomorrow morning. I think we get a lot of wind out there that'll help dry things out, but do be careful as you're stepping out tomorrow, especially on some of those uh, steps as you're stepping out. Just take a quick little step, make sure nothing is icing over. Winds right now, the gust, they're not as bad as they were earlier, but we're still seeing winds gusting over 25 to 30 miles per hour. Right now we're focusing down east and across northern portions of the state, that's where we're seeing the strongest winds. And that's where we're seeing that frontal system moving through right now, which the radar is really depicting a nice uh, boundary right here, the squall line right there, moving from Presque Isle all the way down over to Bar Harbor. That's gonna continue to whiz towards the east, get some of the heavier rains here, the yellows, the deeper red colors, and those rains will be briefly heavy, and then that frontal system will be out of here, and then we'll start to see some colder air moving in as we go through the course of the night. So we're watching that frontal boundary moving to the east, it is out of here, and then we start to see that colder air rushing in as we go through the overnight hours with those temperatures starting to drop. Look, we're already in the 20s all the way from Rangeley all the way over to Berlin by tomorrow morning. So 6 a.m. we'll start to see colder temperatures. And again, watch out for some of that black ice tomorrow morning. You may or may not see it. It depends on sometimes the runoff of, uh, from the uh, over the ground onto the streets. You may see some black ice developing. So something just to be careful of through, as you go through the morning and into the early afternoon. We'll watch the clouds kind of in the air tomorrow, you'll start to see some snow showers here and there. I think over the higher elevations, you could see a coating to perhaps an inch or two over some of the northern mountains. So that's some good news, maybe replenishing some of that snow we lost across some of the higher elevations. And then by tomorrow night, we start to see temperatures dropping back into the 30s. So tomorrow night, definitely gonna feel winter, uh, the winter chill as we see cold winds just gusting out of the west northwest behind this cold front as it continues to pull out of here. We got big, deep, low pressure system in Canada. And that's why we're gonna see these retur the return flow of that, the cold winds as we go through the course of tomorrow afternoon. So the wind chills are gonna feel like more like in the 20s tomorrow. So you're definitely gonna feel that wind. So you definitely wanna dress appropriately as you go out tomorrow. So lows again tonight, mostly in the 20s north, uh, close to freezing as you get down towards southern portions of the state, eastern areas about freezing as well. And then high temperatures in the upper 30s for most of the state, close to 40 as you get down towards Kittery and uh, close to freezing up by Caribou with a few snow showers in the area. By Friday, high pressure moves off the coast. We see a return flow with milder air moving back in, almost a carbon copy of what we're seeing today, uh, tonight. And we could see some more rain developing on Saturday. Uh, of, uh, behind a warm front and then another cold front moves through Saturday night into Sunday, colder air moves back in for Sunday. So, so Saturday right now is looking a little bit, a little bit wet. Sunday is looking more on the dry side. Here's a seven day forecast. And you know what? We get rid of this rain and wind tonight. And again, we start to see things drying out tomorrow. It will be breezy and we could see some snow squalls, some snow showers and snow flurries. Best chance over the higher elevations, north and west. And then when we get into Friday, it'll be mostly sunny, still a bit breezy. It's on the cold side, right where we should be, a little bit below average. And then on Saturday, we have that rain moving in. It could be a mix across some of the higher elevations. And then on Sunday, we clear out, we cool off. And then next week, another system takes a run at us. Looks a little bit colder, so we'll have to watch the rain snow line with that one. So we're getting busy as we yeah, get into this say, yeah. Keeping you busy. Absolutely. Some job it's hard to here. keep my breath because <laughs> of, there's so much information. I'm trying to get it out to everybody in such a short period of time. But you did, did great.